M0FXP Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Tiny SA Ultra. This is a four inch model. Someone said to me, how do we measure our Wi-Fi at home? And it's actually a really good question because you have to go into what they call ultra mode. And let me show you how to go into that mode. So you tap the screen and normally, because I'm in it already, if you're not in ultra mode and you try and enter the frequencies for what we've got here, 2.4 gig to six gigahertz, it won't let you do it. So to get into ultra mode, just tap the screen, then go to config. Let's go back to see the word config. Then go to more at the bottom here, more, and then ultra mode. Now it'll ask you for a password. So just tap the screen and go four, three, two, one, then enter. So now when you put in, let's go tap the screen and go to frequency, go back, where is it? Back again, frequency, oh, back again, frequency. Okay, let's go start, go 2 point, let's say 3 gigahertz, and you'll see it there, 2.3 gigahertz. And then just go to, let's have a look, stop, we'll do 6 gigahertz. So now we're doing 2.3 to 6 gigahertz. And now it's going to measure you know, your Wi-Fi type frequencies. And remember this device does, you know, it does self calibrate itself. Just when you go to the menu, you're looking for the word. Just tap that a minute, tap. Go to, if you can't see it here, level. There it is there. Let's go back, level. No, I got that wrong. Let's go tap the screen, config, then self-test. There it goes. And it will start testing everything for you. And it does look really cool. You can get a 2.8 inch version of this literally for about £35. This is the this little four inch model and I think the cheapest you'll find that one is about 80 pounds so, and that you could they actually you can actually hear the audio on these um, they've also got a waterfall we'll show you that in a minute with the 433 megahertz and if we could try and go back like so we'll go back to config so fiddly on this config level calibration and then look you can calibrate look so everything's quite automated so i won't wait now and bore you with waiting for that go back we go frequency go start go four three three megahertz and you can set the center but anyway uh stop four three five megahertz and then it's now it's starting to pick up all my ham radio stuff. And it's quite bright. And then you can do, if you want to turn on the spectrum, just tap this, go back. You're looking for display. So when you see display, waterfall, give it a minute to populate. And if I grab one of my devices and key up, I mean, it looks, a lot, in real life, it actually looks a lot even better than it looks on the camera. 